Hey, Clayton Bates here. And in today's video, I'm going to teach you or show you the five ways you can add reviews to your website. I'm also going to show you a way that made over a hundred thousand dollars for my clients using this review app and a way where you can get reviews from multiple different places like Facebook, Google, things like that. And if you stick around, I'm going to give you one of the best offers actually probably the best offer ever on this review app that I'm going to recommend completely free. Uh, if you stay around to the end, no one on YouTube will do this. And if you haven't been here to my channel before, a couple of quick things here, I'm actually a registered and authenticated Shopify expert. One of the only ones in Australia and one of the only ones really in the whole world. A lot of people actually say they're Shopify experts, but I'm actually authenticated and registered through Shopify as being an expert in the platform. I have an agency that builds websites. The websites we've built have generated our clients tens of millions of dollars in extra revenue and hundreds of millions of dollars have went through the websites that we've built. So I'd like to think that I sort of have a good understanding of what works on the internet and stuff like that. So with that being said, I know your time's valuable, so let's get into it. The first way you can add reviews to your website is you actually don't add any reviews. So some people actually don't add any reviews to their website, which is totally fine. I personally don't recommend it for most people, 99% of people watching this. One of my clients doing really well has a very high conversion rate and they're, they're going very, very well without uh, reviews. But I personally recommend there's only certain situations where you don't actually uh, have reviews. They have a really strong brand. They've nailed pretty much everything else in business other than putting reviews. So sometimes when you've nailed everything else, you can get away with certain things. That's why uh, businesses like Kylie Cosmetics, they can do pretty much everything wrong when they start and still make billions of dollars, the fastest growing Shopify website in 2017. So it really depends on your situation. Like I said, 99% of people uh, probably watching this video should have reviews on their website. The second way is you can actually add a manual section block where you manually add reviews into your website. This is sometimes good when you're first starting out because you might get some reviews from friends or your first couple of couple of people and you can actually add a section block. Most same templates have a section block where you can manually add reviews into your website. So this is a good way to start as well. Sometimes even now, when we use review apps, we'll actually add a manual section block onto the homepage and showcase some of the best uh, reviews that people have as well, but it depends on the situation as well. The third way is you can actually use a free app like product reviews by Shopify. A lot of people starting out use a free app. There's some disadvantages to free apps. So basically, when you use a free app, it, most of them, I'm pretty sure none of them actually automatically email the customer. Now, if you automatically email the customer to leave a review, you'll get 10 to 30 times the amount of reviews if you don't do that. So when the free apps don't do that, it really um, disadvantages you from using it. The other thing as well, a lot of people that use free apps normally are starting out their business. And imagine you have 20 products and none of them have reviews, but it has a little section leave a review, but no one's actually left a review. So in this situation, I normally would recommend not having a review up when you're starting out. Try to get some people to send them manually to you. And that's normally a good way and add them yourself. And once you build up a couple of reviews, then publish them on your website and go from there sort of thing. Now, the fourth way is you can go to this company this is my personal favorite one that I've used. I mostly use the next one that I'm going to talk about. But if you want to go down this route, this company is really good. So you can actually embed uh, widgets onto your website or apps where you can showcase Google reviews, Etsy reviews, Amazon reviews, Facebook reviews, stuff like that. And this company here, uh, Reputaton, rep, I totally butchered that. Bag me out in the comments. No dramas at all. Um, but this this uh, company has lots of solutions where you can actually have those widgets on your website. So if you're actually starting a new a new website and you have a lot of Google reviews, you have a lot of Etsy reviews, you have a lot of uh, Facebook reviews and stuff, this company is really good. They've also got this app here, customer review apps, where it automatically emails the customer uh, to leave like Google, Facebook, Trustpilot, 
all those sort of reviews as well. So that can really help. Uh, really help. All of these are paid review ups, I'm pretty sure. I definitely know this one and this one is, um, and the Facebook one, I think. I'm pretty sure all of them are paid ups, but they're a small fee that you can actually use. So if you really want to boost your Google reviews, Trustpilot reviews, Facebook reviews, stuff like that, one of these apps is awesome for that as well. Now, going into the fifth way and my favorite way is I like to use a paid, re paid review app called Luke's Reviews. Now, I'm also going to give you probably the best, I, I think it's the best offer ever on YouTube for this uh, review app. Now, pretty much everyone will say it starts at $10 USD a month, 14-day free trial. And if you use my special link, you'll get 30-day free trial, which you will if you use my link in the, con in the description or be the first link. But I'm going to go one step further and I'll actually put it on your website for free. So if you click this install button and install it into your website and you can't work out how to do it yourself, shoot me an email and myself or one of my team will actually put it onto your website completely free at no extra charge. Now, I make nearly nothing if you click the, the link in the uh, description. It's just something I thought would be really good. I really love this company. Luke's reviews has been really good to me, even though probably no one in the company knows who I am uh, or maybe they've watched some of my videos, but they've been really, really good to me. I, I've referred them to all my clients. Uh, two years ago, hundreds and hundreds of people used my link, thousands, I think, uh, to sign up to Luke's reviews and made large amounts of money. So it's just my way of saying thank you. I'm also going to quickly read off a couple of stats here. So just going back to the other thing as well is normally if you have a review app like Luke's that automatically emails the customer after X amount of days to leave a review, a couple of things are going to happen. One, you're going to get 10 to 30 times the amount of reviews as using a free review app or manually doing it yourself. The other thing that's going to happen is Luke's is going to embed some, co some cookies into the email. And when someone clicks through to leave a review, it actually tracks if someone goes and purchases something off your website. So the good thing about getting an a, a email to leave a review is that it reminds people of the good experience they had with your store. Then they go to leave a review and they go and buy something again. So you normally get lots of extra revenue. That's how my clients have made over $100,000 from using this app. And I'm going to quickly read some stats here. One client and... Just before I say this, there's tiers of how much this app actually costs. So it starts at $9.99 and then it goes to $35 USD and then $300 USD. But you have to be doing hundreds of orders a month to go up to $300. So a lot of people would be at $10 and the $35 one. All right, so here's some stats. One of my clients spent $2,000, got 2,000 reviews, 200 photo reviews and made an extra $20,000. Now, the other thing about getting reviews, it actually helps your conversion rate. So imagine if someone goes on to one of your product pages and there's 100 reviews there, that's going to help the conversions, especially really good photo reviews as well. Another client spent $400 in this app. This is over, over months. That's why it costs more. They got 500 reviews. Another one spent, this one I think is crazy. They spent $100, got 200 reviews, and they made $4,000. I, I just think that's like a crazy result for how little they spent. Another one, $300, 200 views, 7,000 in extra revenue. And like I was saying, this is how my clients have made over $100,000 using this app. I highly recommend it. I personally love Luke's reviews. A couple of things you can do with Luke's reviews as well is you can add a widget to your homepage and it automatically puts all the reviews there um, or you can limit it to like 20 and they can keep opening it up. So we'll say like 400 reviews, you don't have to do it. The, the Luke's review app just automatically does it. You can actually make a reviews page on your website where Luke's will automatically send all the, the reviews that are left to that reviews page. So you can actually uh, have a reviews link on, on your website and it goes to the hundreds of reviews. People can check all them out and they can have the stars and leave a, leave a review and stuff like that on the product page and stuff like that. There's a few other things that I can do. One really cool thing when you go to the $35 uh, 
a month uh, a month for the app, you can actually leave video reviews. So if you notice here, people have left video reviews. They are really, really cool. So people, when you build a really good brand, people are willing to do amazing things for your business. Video reviews are amazing uh, for your business and stuff like that. You can also offer someone a discount to leave a photo review. I like to do this because as one thing just before I say that is if the margins make sense, then it's a good idea to do it because these photo reviews and video reviews are really helping your business, helping your conversion over a long enough time period. It will definitely way pay for itself on most niches. If you give them a discount for doing that, it's just a goodwill thing as well, especially at the start when you have none, that would be really good. So yeah, that's basically rundown of everything you can check out their rating 4.9 out of five is awesome so many people have used this uh, like i said i love this uh, hopefully you'll love it too uh, use my link i'll install it into your website for free if you want as well uh, let me know if your views luke's reviews in the comments and if there's any videos you want me to make if you want me to make a video on how to install it into your website, let me know and I'll make that in the coming days or week or so or something like that. So thanks for watching this far. Hopefully you like this and I'll talk to you soon. Have a good one. Bye.